of course, nothing is certain at any time, at any moment in our life. Anything can happen. Yet, we often build um, a false sense of security around us with material possessions, with financial security. And none of these things are bad. They're all absolutely fine as long as uh, we understand that we live each moment in uncertainty. The only thing we can be certain of is who we truly are, our, our true essence beyond the physicality, uh, beyond our relationships, beyond our family, beyond our community, that coming back to that, that, that true essence of I am presence. If we can remember this, then we can live with uncertainty because nothing can touch that. Nothing can change that. Love is, and of course, the word love is used very loosely uh, in, in, our, in our languaging. Generally, we, we say we love our children, we love our partner, we love roses or we love nice houses. <laughs> it's, it's just used so loosely, so loosely. But it is... Uh, Love itself is the essence of I am. And nothing can touch that. So if we can learn to live with that as our essence, then uncertainty doesn't feel scary at all. It's... It's just as it is. However, we are brought up, aren't we, to set up security in our lives, get a good job, get a good education, find the right partner, have a few children, get the house, get the mortgage, you know, Hang around with the right people so you'll be putting out the right presentation. And unfortunately, that's just the way our society has uh, programmed itself. But here, we're, this is all about breaking free of programs, you know, breaking free, free of all, all the patterns and the patterned behaviour. When we come back to who we truly are, the patterns have all fallen away. There's only light left. And, and when this body dies, you know, there's a, an imprint that will perhaps pass on. And there's lots of names for that in, in different cultures. It, it, it's sometimes called the soul that, that continues on. And whatever imprints are there, whatever unfinished business, whatever karma, however you like to think of that, may pass, may, may, may remain until it is completed. And in my understanding, we are here in human form in this lifetime to complete experience to feel that our relationships are complete, our understanding, whether that be with, you know, with anything, 
it is complete it's a complete experience there's nothing left undone there's no regrets so while we still have breath let's clear 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 <laughs> letting go and in that all the clinging and, and the desires tend to fall away and we just simply are moved to do whatever it is we do and we know that's perfect then because it's not coming from the separate self we just couldn't not do what we're doing you know whether that whether that you're a musician whether you're a a runner, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a, um, it, it doesn't matter what it is. But to absolutely follow that flow. So there's no resistance here. There is just flow. And that's a joyful flow then. It doesn't mean that life won't be difficult. And that's where the uncertainty comes in. Yes, there will be challenges. I, I call them opportunities opportunities to th see through another layer to drop another pattern because they become more and more and more subtle subtle the big ones are obvious it's the subtle layers and we'll be working that working with those you know when I say we'll be working with them, all that's necessary is awareness. It's bringing them to conscious awareness, seeing through, allowing the ghost of it to fall away. However, there are many different techniques and, and um, therapies and everything available to help us to see, because sometimes that, that you know, that's not so easy. They find little nooks and crannies, don't they, to hide away and pop out and surprise us at different times. 